it is great to be here at the Arthur Avenue Market in Belmont, an Italian-American institution. It is an authentic Italian-American neighborhood, and it's the holiday season. It's morning here, but I'm in one of my favorite places in the world, besides Mike's Deli, with David Greco and Mike Greco, institutions in the Bronx. The Bronx is such a welcoming place. You have Mike, who has helped people get started in this country back uh, when folks from the old country were just getting to know New York City and trying to navigate. You got Mike, who started Mike's Deli, and you got David Greco, a leader in the community, who's kind of planning a vision for the future. The Bronx is a gateway, and we are so proud to be with you here at the Arthur Avenue Market. Mr. Mike Nobby, welcome Bronx Net guys. We're really excited you're here too. My father said, what's going on today? Hello, how we doing, okay? Good to see you, my friend. Hello, how's everything, good? It, oh, it is great. Beautiful thing to it's see somebody come in this place. Oh, hey. Buon Natale, Merry Christmas to everyone in the world. No, only Arthur Avenue. All over the world, Merry Christmas from Mike is Deli. He is a booming voice, a big personality. Mike, man, you've been here. You've done great things by starting this. How many years ago? Thank you very much, son. Pop came over. The mandala, when did you come to America? I come to this country in 1947. I'll hold the microphone. And I started working this place in 1952. So, longer time, baby. Thank you for welcoming us here. I'm excited, I have to tell you. It's not just me, it's the other merchants in the market too. Having Peter's Meat Market, Boyano's Fruits, they're all happy to have you here. And it's exciting for us because at Mike's Deli, we always believe best quality, best service, best customers. And you not only sound good on the mic, this guy eats pretty well too, guys. He likes only the best, very particular. And I like that because for us, Mike, it makes the customers understand that quality comes first. Bronx painter Danny Halbin is painting landscapes, and we're with him, documenting him painting the Arthur Avenue Market, one of the best delis in the nation. You can also see, just to the north, Nature's Bounty, a wonderful produce market, opportunities to eat healthy on both sides, authentic Italian-American cuisine, Nature's Bounty over here, a plethora of fruits, vegetables, and more, as well as Danny Halbin, just immortalizing the activity here in the morning. Uh, by lunchtime, this market is bustling. You cannot even move with all the people here. And Danny is painting this on canvas and sharing his thoughts on Art and About with Danny Halbin on Bronx Net. And there's such a quality of, uh, and care, and there's an art to the uh, work that is done behind the counter at Mike's Deli. And we have art happening right now with Danny Halbin. <laughs> Welcome to this, another day in the adventure that is Art and About with Danny Halbin on BronxNet. Today, we find ourselves in the uh, indoor retail market at Arthur Avenue uh, with all the preparations for the holidays. Everybody's, uh, the place is in full gear and, uh, uh, you know, not to dispel the mystique of the uh, artist who never gets up before noon, but here I am uh, getting ready to, to, to paint this uh, unique uh, location and all of the, uh, trying to capture all of the, the energy that, that takes place here uh, at Mike's Deli. So um, I'm just going to, I'm grabbing my, uh, my brown paint uh, diluted with my medium and I'm going to scribble away here trying to uh, find a, a composition that works. So remember you always want to keep things light and loose. Beginning part of the process is just uh, blocking out the compositional outline and when you especially when you have such a complex image uh, as this this scene here 
in the Arthur Avenue uh, indoor retail market with, with all of the abundance of the, of the wares that, they're, uh, that they've stocked for the holidays, um, that's when we, we need to kind of take stock and find the, the bigger picture. So I got this guy standing here, maybe he's posing, uh, so I could use, use him as a, as a reference. Oh, no, he's moving, but maybe if I, I can just uh, plot in a person, that will give me sort of the scale that I'm, I need to build the, the scene around. You know, I'm working on a vertical format because um, I'm going to capture the foreground, which is all of these, uh, this vegetable stand right here up front. And I wanted to get a good deal of that with all the great shapes and textures provided by the peppers and the asparagus and all of that. Uh, so that's going to be happening in this, this section of the, of the piece. And then here's the counter. Here's the here's the the, the ground, and everything is receding to a vanishing point off to my right. So all of the angles have to head in the same direction. And here's my counter. Make sure I have enough space for all the hanging sausages and cheeses. So all of these lines, as, as abstract as they may seem, are helping me to, to see where, where things need to, to go. Then we have hanging banners, one, two, Here's the Italian flag, another banner, another banner, and I can use my, just to see it more clearly, we have your rag handy. <clears throat> and the center of this action is all taking place right in here. This is the behind the counter. This is where Dave Greco and his father, Mike, uh, have been uh, doing their trade for 65 years, Mike just told us. And uh, that's, that's where our focus is going to be. Here's, here's Dave, right here, behind the counter. Let's, let's put this up further, give it more more room because we not only want to show we want to we want to give these uh, these sausages the the dew, they, and the sausages in general are a dark shape. So I'm I'm gonna just block this out a little bit, take out this original line. We've moved this up, and uh, you know this all resonates very much for me because. Uh, my father uh, was, a, was a produce man. His father had a push cart on the Lower East Side, and the, the five sons all uh, worked with him and, uh, and sold vegetables out of a push cart. Later on, my father had a, uh, when, when LaGuardia uh, banished push carts, in New York, he created these indoor markets. This is one of those markets created 70 some odd years ago. And at that time, that was when my father uh, opened up a, uh, a vegetable shop in Hell's Kitchen. So, um, you know, maybe it's in my blood, I don't know, but uh, I enjoyed hearing all the, all the stories. So just to, help myself see what's going on. I'm going to add some actual paint to this, white paint, just to indicate where my light uh, fixture is going to be. And I think what I'm going to do today is just pretty much block everything out in lights and darks. 
because it's such a complex view, I think color will just complicate things at this early stage. I'm going to do what, what we call the underpainting today. So there's a lot of spontaneous decisions that one makes in the course of the painting experience. And, you know, having, I mean, I've, I've been here before, so I know I had a sense of what, what, uh, what I was going to be dealing with. But once, you never really know until you get started uh, and, and uh, you know, get, get in position and start to tune in to the, you know, all the unique uh, aspects of a specific situation. So here are the very important stripes. I'm going to lower the counter just a little bit so I have more room to show the activity, the action that's taking place. Because I, what I see is that the sausages are heading in this kind of a direction. So if I'm going to block in this guy's uh, shirt, white shirt. The ochre colored cheese, or whatever you want to call it. And there's a nice lady with a fur collar. And another guy is over here, he's a little bit taller. Baseball cap, hoodie, jacket, arm. So these are just, you know, quick uh, guidelines. You know, I know I'll have to, uh, you know, have some other references later, so I'm not going to get too crazy, but she's holding a, a handbag. The handbag is a lighter color, so maybe I want to... Every, everything gives you a shape that's part of the pattern. He's got blue pants. Uh, you know, maybe I can, if he'll stay put long enough, I can, uh, you know, they go from darker to lighter. And that gives me some color that, that's referenced from every, every uh, part of the, uh, every element of the painting has its own, is part of its own pattern. And so you have to not only see the, the specific uh, subject you're working on, but how does it fit in to the rest of the story? And that's, you know, you want to start thinking like that as an artist. Um, it's all part of the bigger, bigger picture. So here I'm going to show the edge of the table that's holding all the vegetables. <clears throat> There's Dave Greco. So we'll pop him in over here. I see now I'm getting a clear shot of him carrying on. So I'm going to pop him in right over here. Here's his jacket. Here's what's in front. Here's the top of the counter. Here's another guy doing his thing. So I'm trying to capture. So this is uh, Dave Greco and his father, Mike. And those are the guy, you know, those are the main, the main, Mike is the guy who, who started this uh, this whole place 65 years ago, or was you know inherited it and has made it what it is today, and uh, so I'm I'm going to try to get the two of them together. Going to make sure I get the telltale hat. Okay, Senor. So this this will be you and Dave. Here, but we took lots of pictures, so we'll be able to, you know, pop you in with everything, all the colors and, you know, everything, the customers. You've got an idea what goes on. Yeah, just the beginning. Okay. It takes okay. time. <laughs> you always want to take advantage of what's in front of you, the colors, the shapes, the relationships, anything to give you an extra bit of, interest of excitement. 
So what I'm hoping to achieve this first day on location at the uh, indoor market at Arthur Avenue is to block out all of my shapes and block in all of my colors and, uh, you know, just have enough of a reference to, uh, you know, to, to, to fill in, in in subsequent visits. I know I'm going to have to come back uh, a couple of more, several more days to, to work with the level of uh, detail uh, that I'm, I'm hoping to achieve. So again, oil is a very forgiving medium. We can make any changes we want. We can rub out. I didn't want, I want to move that, that uh, yellow over here a little bit, maybe. And then that will give me uh, the bottle olive oil and um, up against the white of the, of the light reflecting on the, in the counter. So that's what I'm going to block in now. Oh, now there's more people online. So we'll just pop in a couple, one other person maybe, this lady with the hair, with the hat. Everybody's got a hat. So we use, we use one color to clarify another. We use one shape to help solidify the shapes that are around it. So now I'm blocking in the floor. I want it to feel like it's one, all one thing. Make sure it's all lined up if possible. And even though there's just a little bit of the floor showing, it'll make a big difference. So remember, everything is part of a pattern. So I'm looking around, I got blue, and I got blue, and I got blue, and I got uh, maybe blue. Nothing exists in isolation. Your, the brain connects the dots, so it connects the pattern of blues. And here's the uh, pasta sauce bottles, red pasta sauce bottles. So I know there are many bottles, but we have to start simpler and then I'll, then I'll change, I'll break it up. And then I can separate them, put labels on them. Anyway, I'm going to let him tweet. He's tweeting, but he's Paul Ramirez, Mainland Media, Bronx Beer Hall, one of our great entrepreneurial spirits of the Bronx, young great entrepreneur, still young, Relatively great young. <laughs> entrepreneurial spirits of the Bronx, who we, you know, I have been privileged to have worked with and known for an, quite a number of years already. Be blessed, and, you know, and, and my, you know, uh, who brought me to the Bronx, uh, to the uh, market here, market. Two, right. two Decembers ago, exactly, right. two exactly. years ago, when he said they're going to do their pop-up shop, and why don't I pop up and paint? And, uh, you know, here we are a couple of years later. A couple so, years later, so business established in the center of the market. Danny got his own TV show. How, <laughs> how, how much better could it be, honestly? How much better could it be? We're actually getting ready to set up for the, uh, the Bronx Centennial, you know? It's been 100 years, Bronx County. So that's, that's our main focus right now, thinking about what we can do to really celebrate those 100 years and make sure that everybody within the community feels it and knows, you know, that this is a celebration of our community, a celebration of our people across the board. No matter what it looked like 100 years ago, what it looks like today, we're celebrating it all. We need to make sure that people still recognize the value in our borough. And obviously Danny's paintings capture that on a, you know, on a very, very personal, you know, there's a personal basis. It's very, very connected to the community. I mean, 
And as a Bronxite wants to see one of these paintings, how can you deny it? You know, how can you deny the talent? How can you deny the, just the feeling it evokes? You know, just the, the mood. You, I've walked through this borough for years, you know, and just to catch one, a corner that Danny's done, automatically I'm like, oh, 170th in the Conquerors, wow. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just, just from personal experience, but to see it through his eyes makes it even better. You know, and that's, that's really what we value about Danny, and he knows that. He knows that. That's why we help help sell his artwork. You know, we help make those posers make make tangible pieces for people who can't afford these grand canvases. And you know, we're, that's the game we're in, and that's we're gonna keep playing that game for as long as we can, right, brother? So, Laura, you've been working here for a while? Yeah, a year and a half. Okay. My second Christmas. Hectic, but I love it. Okay. I make money, everybody makes money. That's... And we all have good food. <laughs> and it feels like there's a sense of community here. I mean, yes. people, you know. You, it's like family. Old, old we yell at each other, but we love each other. Okay, well, here we have Richie Libertari, right. uh, one of the. Uh, the figures here in the, in the uh, indoor market. Probably the longest, Avenue. the oldest one here in the amount of time put into this really? market. Really? How, how, how long? Well, I was about, probably about 10 years old when I started coming okay. to help my father. Wow. Uh, I'm sure there were a few years in between that I didn't come on the, on the weekends, but the weekends were a busy time and uh, that's when we used to come. Well, this is such a special place. I mean, there's still the feeling of community let me, here. Let me tell you, it was really a family situation. Uh, you remember at the time, there were a lot more uh, merchants here, but we used to do a lot of things together, go to ball games together. They had, you know, they did nice jobs. They really did. It was a great place to grow up in. Or as somebody once said, growing up in this neighborhood, it was like growing up in Camelot. Hard to, hard to imagine, but le legitimate. So fortunate. It was good. So yes. tell me a little about your business. Uh, but basically, uh, really, is what I have is plants and uh, seeds imported from Italy. And we do home uh, garden plants, and we do uh, plants for the house, you know, and, and basically that's it. People come from all over. I mean, last few weeks, talking to people from Utica, Schenectady. Mm. Uh, we got a lot of people from New Haven. So, you know, it's surprising, but thank God they come back to this neighborhood, they enjoy it. Wow! <laughs> wow! Dan, you're amazing. Business well, thank you're you. amazing. Wow. Well, I hope, you know, I in, feel it already. In, in some way that the spirit that you have helped to generate here at the market and that I'm, you know, feeling and, and portraying Honestly, in the work. Amazing, and, you know, I hope that it all leads to some of your, you know, your vision for what, you if know. If I just keep feeding the... people like you, I'm okay. <laughs> because that, you're happy, I'm happy. saw that pass by but that is amazing I had that in Napoli when I was in the old country visiting my family in the Campania Avalino there's this a grain pie that you see around the holidays and it, it is amazing it's fresh it takes you know a craft to really build that right and here in the Arthur Avenue market well it's you it's a little bit of the old country right here in the Bronx in New York City but Danny what, what's it like what are you seeing here oh I'm seeing movement I'm seeing color I'm seeing shape and I'm feeling the energy, you know, and the joy that we are experiencing. People's faces, people's responses, you know, that all factors in. You can't, uh, you know, that's something you can't teach to people. All you can do is offer uh, the possibility. This was in this very market that I approached you a year ago and said, uh, do you ever consider maybe doing a show about art and, you know, about art and about. <laughs> and this is where we have wound up. The stories are abundant. It's, you can tell in the painting, you can tell in the, in the light of the, of the media that you're watching on BronxNet. And 
Yeah, it's a team out here that does it. You know, we got Marcelo Mendez, production manager. We got an award-winning team that includes Sean McGinn, Melissa Johnson. We've got Frank Reyes. We've got Julieta Grismondi. You know, it, it's, it, it's, it's kind of an art in of itself, and it's a craft that you hone. So when you are thinking about what you want to do in the future, how you want to create, how you want to contribute, how you want something to live on, know that there's so many different ways to kind of forge your own path to art, to creativity, to making something special, to sharing something. <laughs> and the best Bronx artist is right here. Thank you very much. Grazie molto. We'll see you next time on Art About with Danny Halvin. about shoulders your shoulders is a three-tier muscle you have your front delts you have your rear delts and you have your mid delts so when you're working out your shoulders properly you have to do three different exercises it's wonderful being able to compete with a lot of these young guys from all over the world it's important to stay in shape NFC, AFC, offensive linemen, defensive tackles, quarterbacks, and cornerbacks are all working with United Way for a million little reasons, the kids of our communities, to ensure their academic success all the way to graduation day. You see, it takes about 12 years to create a graduate, but it takes the same time to create a dropout. And the difference between a kid becoming one or the other could be a professional athlete or it could be you. Studies showed the earlier we get to kids, the better their chances. So become a United Way volunteer reader, tutor, or mentor and make a difference in the life of a child for the life of that child. Give. Advocate. Volunteer. Live United. Join your favorite NFL players. Take the pledge. Go to unitedway.org.